Quill, wake up. Uh, Drax, we talked about this, man. You gotta stop. Your illegitimate child was correct, Peter Quill. Hovat and Camaria will be restored. Uh, d d yeah, okay. Um, we just need to have faith. Uh, Drax, you're kind of freaking me out, man. I had to share the good news, Peter Quill. You have lost your family. Your mother. The Kree woman. You understand the pain that comes from loss. Drax. But with faith, with the Matriarch's promise, our families can be restored. I, I, Drax, I don't... You have accepted her promise, have you not, Peter Quill? Uh, not exactly, but, but not because I don't want to. It's just, I have questions. I understand. The Matriarch's promise is overwhelming. Overwhelming is a word for it. It also took me time to see the miracle of her promise. Yes, yes, uh, time. I just need... Time. I will give you time, Peter Quill. However, I am less certain of the others. The wooden one may come around, but I suspect the assassin and the rodent will resist. Mm -hmm. This makes them a dangerous element to our cause. I must eliminate them. Wait! Why? Because <laughs> they're our family, man. Just give them a chance. It's a lot to process. You truly believe they will accept her promise? I, I know it. Take Gamora. Her dad was Thanos. There's going to be some stuff to work through before she can accept it. And, and Rocket. <laughs> Where to start? He's literally a walking science experiment. What Nikki, uh, the, the, the matriarch, is, is offering... It's, it's all new territory for him. And the wooden one? You said it yourself. He'll come around. I mean, it's Groot, man. He's our rock. Very well, Peter Quill. Good, uh, good. That's, that's, that's great. I'm, I'll, I'll let the others know. No, I will fetch her and bring her to you. How? She's like a million light years away. We have already landed on our planet. Think well, Peter Quill. When I return, she will demand your answer. Hey! Drax! We can talk about this! Great. Yo, Quill. You there? Please tell me you're not dead. Quill? Oh, I'm here, Rocket! Oh, thank Flark. Peter? Rocket? Why is my door locked from the outside? Yeah, Drax may have kind of joined the church. What? Seriously? I am Groot. I know, it's, it, it's super messed up, Drax. Drax is kind of messed up. He also may have landed us on Sacrosag to find the Matriarch. But don't worry. I may have an idea. The llama thing's been chewing through my wall. Cammy did? It has a name? Point is, maybe it's a way to get out. If I can just squeeze through and get to the cockpit. You can release the locks. Bingo! Okay, I'm out. Are you inside of Drax? Not yet.
So wait, are you happy? Done. Meet me in the rec room. Flarkin waiting for. We gotta ditch this mud ball before Green and Crazy shows up with his new pal, the Kurtakin Matriarch. Rocket, stop! We can't just abandon Drax. Is he even still Drax? I mean, he's been converted. I know. It's just we need to find him and pull him back from the dark side. You're talking about kidnapping Drax the Destroyer. Emphasis on Destroyer. And we've come too far, seen too much awful stuff to abandon one of our friends. Drax is still our friend. That ain't our friend no more. Don't make me pull rank on this, man. Are you pointing your frickin' guns at me? No, no, not yet. I just need you to understand how serious this is. We're not leaving. Well, Flark, Quill. It's about Kratak and time you showed some Nords. Fine. I'm in. Any other objections? Nope. I'm good. I'm good. Good. Then let's go find our friend. At least we all managed to get some rest. Speak for yourself. I barely had time to fix the engines before Drax locked me in. Didn't even get a power nap. Just want to make sure you're up for this. Don't matter, Quill. I'll try anyways. I am Groot. I know you're ready. I am Groot. Ready to go out there and get Drax back? Ready? No. But the longer we wait, the further he'll drift away. If there are church forces on this planet, we should have an attack strategy. We wouldn't have gotten out of there without you, Cammy. We owe you one. Right, guys? Yeah, she can be useful. I am Groot. Ah, don't get so sentimental. She's all right, I guess. Okay, here we go. Not this place. You know where we are? In a Flarkin Lagoon? How many times I gotta tell you people, I don't like water! Hey, I didn't land here, okay? Drax did. Ah, the stuff is gross! Ah, uh, kidding me? Ah, wet fur is the worst! Ah! 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 it! You alright? That's it! I hate water! I hate being wet! And I hate not getting paid! We're not here to get paid. We're here to save Drax. Guys, this is Lamentis, home of the priests of Pama. More religious nutjobs. Great! They aren't nuts. They're pacifist exiles. Pacifists. From... That's even worse. Exiles from where? Hala. They escaped Kree persecution revolutions ago. Now they offer sanctuary and protection to those in need. Uh, tell me we ain't crossing above an ocean. Only part of an ocean. Uh... Don't fall and you'll get wet. Quit worrying, Rocket. Anything happens, Gamora will jump in after you. I will? You will? Yes, because we're a team. And Gamora's the most sprightly. Uh, I think I'd rather drown. We should sink on our plan for when we find Drax. Shoot first, plan later. We're not shooting Drax. But you were willing to shoot Rocket? Yeah, what does Scott Quill? Drax is the... <gasps> Found Drax. Lying scoundrel. Where is she? Where is the Matriarch? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Put him down! Drax! Buddy, just calm down! No, she called me here! Men lost! Rocket, a little help here! Uh. <laughs> Hi, guys!
Mantis? How did you... What? Oh, that? Lysau once taught me the art of striking one spot and many times. There's an Omphad who teaches me later. Don't worry, Green Meanie's fine. You'll <clears throat> find me. What are we doing here, Mantis? I told him to come. On nowhere. I saw time inside his mind. The lies that bind. I mean, what's a girl to do? Whisper a course correct, obviously. Shh. It's okay. Stay with me. Quiet in the dark. The one of your girlfriends, Quill? Oh, no. <laughs> Not in this time. Come on. The creepy cave's this way. The what now? The creepy cave. Where the darkest of our future paths will meet. Dark isn't unknown. Not as in bad. I mean, it might be bad. But no way can it be worse than the futures I did see, because those were definitely bad. Very bad. You don't want to know how bad. Can someone please translate her? I am Groot. The point is... Or was... Or... Which parts of the point have I made already? Uh, the creepy cave. Yes, that's right. Big strong heart carries so much sorrow inside. In all futures, he's the one who turns. And in some, we save him. Here! Where the Kotadi take fruit. So, just to be clear, there's a timeline where me and you... Peter, focus. Right. Uh, what's a Kotadi? I am... Uh, plant people, like Groot, but, uh, lame. The Kotadi are a highly evolved, highly sacred race of pacifist beings who grace us with their meditative powers. They also guard the secrets of the ancient cave. Can they temporarily unguard it? Oh no, they take this duty quite seriously. Our only hope of entering is to appeal to their infinite wisdom. <gasps> What are we looking for in here? She doesn't know. Something that's gonna help Drax. We're all just taking the word of this space case. She's not a space... Ooh, spooky! Spooky is right. Uh, more like deadly. Are we sure about this? Nope. Maybe Drax just needs to sleep it off. I mean, he seems... Double floor! Yeah. Allison said that one in time. Everyone just remember we're here for Drax. Though, it would be easier if we had some idea of what we're looking for. Whoa! This place is really unstable. Lousy cave's gonna kill us all. Oh no, not all of us. Not this time. More water? What's wrong with this lousy planet? Come on, Rocket. A little water's not gonna hurt you. Death by drowning is actually quite common throughout Little Fuzzy's alternate future. I have heard so many of his panicked final gasps. I'm sure it'll get drier from here on out. Oh, you are so wrong, Stir Fry. hi -ya! Giddy up! Crap! That was kind of close. That one sometimes gets to Mora. I doubt it. You're sure we're headed the right way, Mantis? Mantis, any chance Drax can... Green Meanie cannot be burdened. It takes all my mental fortitude to keep him enmeshed in lies. One misstep, and I lose him, and then he kills us all. 
Let's take a look through here. Maybe there's another way to cross. All right, Gamora, let's get up here. Why don't I just blast some of these rocks? Oh, no! I don't trust them not to kill us. What's your reason? I have seen so many futures where a little fuzzy dies in this cave. Rocket, feeling lucky? Times Drax has done something for us. Uh, this is a lot of trouble to go to for a freaking colleague. Drax has definitely been there for us before. Like on Seknarf, first time we got jumped by that tiger with the squid face. Oh, Stumpy. And the second time we got jumped by Stumpy. Uh, Mantis, should we be worried about this fog? those things living on this planet. Maybe they weren't native to Seknarth? And this is where Hellbender first got them? Or maybe Hellbender's here, tracking us across the ends of the galaxy, because she wants us dead. Lady H wants us dead. You realize what that means? We're all gonna die? I think I see what he's doing. It means we're a team. When we piss someone off, we piss them off together. I'm gonna assume that sounded better in your head. Water, fog, and monsters. What's the forking deal with this place? There has always been a great power here. The priests tell tales of those who were here before them, and what wonderful things they could do. I don't remember hearing anything. What the fork? There's two of them! Two of what? Mantis, do these things have anything to do with what we're looking for? Inconclusive. But I'm thinking no. What do you think, Will? Thanks, living in this sacred cave! 
this part. Something bad happens here, something we have to avoid. Mantis? Over here. All right. I like Drax as much as the next guy, but I am officially sick of this stupid cape. Who? Oh, bug lady? She couldn't guide her way out of a bathroom. Are you the rock face we're looking for? Not sure if I wanted to answer or not. Whatever gets us out of here. We'll each need to face our fears. Some fear, some not. But facing them is most important. You know, running is sometimes good too. For you, yes, Star Guy. But only until it isn't. You'll see that soon enough. No, wait, you should know that already. Don't you remember your dreams? You, uh, see something out there, Mantis? So many things, too many things. Shadows of a civilization that lived here once before. Forlorn faces that can see, like me, horrors yet to come. And other shadows, too. Ours, not ours. A figure that's watching us now. Or was watching us then? I see rocks, and, uh... Crystal things. A statue that looks like a face and more rocks. I like yours better. I see something else. I see friends willing to die for another friend. Found another way. Just me or them crystals look super dangerous. Don't worry your fuzzy little head. You only die from a great fall in two timelines. It probably isn't one of them. We need to get on those crystals, Groot. I'm Groot. Just let Quill get out there first. I don't want you falling. Green Meanie's lost in an ocean of lies. We need to bring him ashore. Ooh, definitely remembering something now, I think. We need to be careful here. I think what you're seeing is some version of me pushing you off a cliff. Oh, little fuzzy. Your volatility is surprisingly consistent through all versions of time and space. Maybe we need to accept that not everything can be explained. The galaxy's a weird place. Just gotta go with the flow. Getting lost in a deadly cave is your idea of going with the flow? Finally, the face of a thousand lies, I think. It's gonna help us save Drax? It tries to keep us from saving him. We seek something behind the face, beyond the lies. You want me to blow it up? That shouldn't be our answer to everything. You mentioned the faces in the dark before, but I always thought it was metaphorical. Bug Lady is absolutely bonkers. <laughs> of course I'm angry. I'm what? Wandering around a cave that's falling apart, looking for Flark knows what. Let me hear those three words, Groot. <laughs> Don't ask him to do weird stuff. You get stuff. us through here, Gamora. Flark, I'm going in. No! You mustn't! You don't want me to cut the thing? Wait, no, not you! Something bad is about to happen! Oh, oh that's it! I'm going in! Oh, get it! Blow up this statue, save Drax, and get out of here! Yes, but... Time to start trusting our instincts, Quill. Bug Lady said the face is keeping us from helping Drax, so we gotta destroy it! Little Fuzzy! Don't do whatever it is you're about to do! No, no, no! Do. I'm done with all the riddles! Don't not, mm -hmm. not do whatever you're about to do! Let's just hear Mantis out on this, okay? Give me a tick to think, okay? Not the whole place collapses! Then at least you wouldn't have to argue with him anymore! Not helping! Groot, can you tell him to stop? <laughs> Little Fuzzy's in a mood, we're probably gonna die. Rocket, don't! Rocket!
Ooh. Close one. Don't say that again. Oh, I will. Uh, Mantis. The one where you don't. stuff is still better. It's really not. Next time we're in a huge fight, you're gonna beg me to blow stuff up. Beg me! Next time we're in a huge fight, I'll make sure to remember that. More of that weird fog. Be glad you ain't this close to the ground. Oh, little Fuzzy never dies from gas in here. Just falling, crushing, Chitauri, Wait, water. hang on. Did you say Chitauri? Oh, I did, didn't I? Such a funny sounding word. Space car! Been too long! 
long oh. since I blew something up? If anything else comes out of this fog, I quit! You can't quit! It's in your contract! Chance, Gamora! Yours is still bothering you, though, right? What thing? I'm fine. Let's just focus on helping Drax. <laughs> He's gonna be upset he didn't get to fight all those things. Just how far down does this cave go? Oh. Legends uh. say the entire planet is hollow! I don't think they're looking to make a match, well. Oh, maybe I can help. I think I speak their language. Next time, you're on your own. What would I do without you, Rocket? Fog of fear, faced fully forthright. You okay, Mantis? Oh, hey, Gamora, you look less depressed. Wait, we went over that already, didn't we? Yeah, we did. That thing of yours is still bothering you, though, right? What thing? I'm fine. Let's just focus on helping Drax. <laughs> He's gonna be upset he didn't get to fight all those things. Uh, I don't think that any of those... Just how far down does this cave go? Legends say the entire planet is hollow! Heads up! I don't think they're looking to make amends, Quill. Oh, maybe I can help. I think I speak their language. Stop 
about as well as expected. I was sure. Oh, maybe I just haven't learned it yet. I think I picked up the word for kill. Or the grunt, anyway. The fog doesn't seem to bother whatever these giant things are. Maybe they're just smart enough to not wander around in it. Unlike some people. I am Groot. I know why we're doing it. And don't think Drax won't hear all about it, either. Oh, is this the one where Little Fuzzy does something heroic? Hard to say. I think it's pretty easy to say he won't. Um, guys. I know, little fuzzy. Uh-uh. No way. No flarkin' way. Doesn't seem that wet. Like, medium wet. I ain't walking through a flarkin' monsoon! Maybe there's a way to use those plants that divert the water. We're a team. We'll figure it out. Are we seriously gonna let this keep us from saving tracks? Sure! You save him while I drown! Down no. I think these could be useful. Like a dam. Yes! Just the plan, man. How do you? We ain't got much choice. That's one big beanstalk. What do you think, Rocket? Doesn't seem that bad. Translate. Rocket don't... Rocket don't like wet. We get it. It's a scary dark cave. We're all probably gonna encounter things we don't like. True. But nothing as much as Little Fuzzy doesn't like getting wet. Never underestimate someone's deeply rooted fear, Sir Fry. Especially when you do not understand the root. Ah. <sighs> It's actually kind of refreshing. Like a quick shower. What do you say, Rocket? I ain't ever showered either. I ain't gonna start now. What would you guys do without me? Yeah. Where, oh where, would we get another gun? I'm... Easy, Greenie. They'll figure it out. Hey, Groot. Can you get me up there? I am Groot. 
on his way. Just tell him how high. I could try blowing it up, I guess. No! Remember last time you blew something up? Hey, if I jump, you can catch me, right? Guess we'll find out. That's not very reassuring. All right, I can force these things with a little... Here's the almighty Star Lord. Say something? God, nope. Bullseye! Bullseye! Go before we left the ship. Mora, let's climb up there. Get eyes on the problem. The problem is that Rocky needs to suck it up. Yeah, good luck with that. This doesn't seem absurd to you? He's got a thing with water. What do you want me to do? You're supposed to be his leader. Have you met Rocket? Just like that. Please, don't give him an even bigger head than he's already got. I just need to reload faster. Too bad you don't have these sweet guns, Rocket. Keep it up and I'll swipe them in your sleep. Anyone else suddenly missing Drax's anecdotes about Katath? Oh, you know he has some Katathian fairy tale related to our current situation. Like the Katathian equivalent of Jack and the Giant Beanstalk. Yes! I can't believe that worked. Half worked. Come on, it's like 50% less wet. And... Ugh, it must still be stuck somewhere. Up we go, Groot. I am Groot. So this Jack Beanstalk guy, is that an Earth hero? Kinda. Basically, he plants some magic beans and they grow into this giant plant, which, obviously, he climbs. I am Groot. He don't know where to get magic beans, you big galoot. Up we go. Gonna need a hand up again. That looks like a good spot. On it! Hey, bug lady. Exactly how many times you seen us die horribly? Oh, it's too sad to count. I always have to stop around 50. Great! That's ten apiece! Oh, no, 50,000, little fuzzy. Nice shot, Peter! Oh, uh, thanks! Anyway, thanks, Quill. Really. I was pretty sure you had tentacles. What do you say, Groot? Now that we got the whole team together? I am Groot. Absolutely. A dry rocket is a happy rocket. This is you happy? Oh, yes. You should see some of the dark versions of Little Fuzzy. Or maybe you shouldn't. This cramp corridor ring any bells, Mantis? Pretty sure this is the wet part. But what now? I thought we just did the wet part. Oh, it gets worse. <laughs> Everyone okay? 
I'd be seeing stars if I could see anything at all. Yeah, this ain't good. So, about all them futures where we die. I am Groot. Has he always been able to do that? I am Groot. He says he don't like showing off. Thanks, buddy. I am Groot. No, I don't gotta tell him. Oh, right. The thing. That you tell us in the dark. It's really important. No, it ain't. Shut up. I am Groot. What did I just say? Oh, little Fuzzy, you'll feel better if you let it all go. You're among friends, Rocket. It's nothing, okay? Just... The lab I was in did tests on me in tubes of water. And it sucked. It really, really sucked. Sensory deprivation experiments on Half-World. I heard of those. Sensory deprivation was like a vacation compared to the other ones. Ooh, this part. Ooh. Okay, anyone else getting really fed up with little Miss Cryptic? Pretty? <laughs> Give me a break. At least it seems less dark through here, and less wet. Works for me. Mantis, anything in particular we should be looking out for? Uh, there's that creepy fog again. It's always here. Always. Until it isn't. What's that supposed to- Shh. I don't- More Hellraisers. Wait, yeah. But it ain't those flarknards. It's them creepy eyeball things from the QZ. I'm definitely hearing Hellraisers. Then you ain't hearing right. It's eyeball things. I can't tell. It's not clear. Well, it's clear to me. Shh. What do you mean, shh? It's your guy's right. Shh. And about what? Shh. There's a new way out. So it was nothing. I think it depends. It's got something to do with the freaky fog. So the key all along was to keep quiet? Every time you name an enemy, it has the power to make that enemy appear. Yeah, like that was ever gonna happen. I saw so many versions of us fighting so many different things, but the source? It's not done with us yet, Guardians. Yeah, well, let's just keep our eyes open and our mouths shut from now on. The fog entity has retreated for now. There's no immediate risk. Yeah, no offense, Bug Lady, but nothing you say means anything anymore. So the fog is an entity now? Yeah. I'm kind of with Rocket on this. I can handle spooky caves and cryptic objectives, but man, do I draw the line at fog monsters. Aw, I'm sorry to hear that. Fortunately, it's too late to turn back. It's never too late to turn back. Turning back is what we do, lady. No, she's right. There was no way out of that fog room. Either we move forward or we die. Yay! Let me guess. Further down? Only if you want to save Drax and the whole galaxy. Let me get back. Okay. One last time! Oh it's mine! I don't remember this part. Okay. Okay. Look, guys, um, <clears throat> I appreciate what you all did for me back there with the water thing, um, but following the bug lady any deeper is officially stupid. Rocket. No. Fog monsters? Cave pigs? Wet waterfalls? Technically, all water... No! No, Quill. She doesn't know where we are. She doesn't know where we're going. She doesn't know what we're looking for. Mantis, are we hot or cold? Room temperature. Okay, okay. This is crazy. He is probably crazy. It's not about her. It's about us. I am super proud of us. Because we've never gone this far for anything before. Oh, this is the one where you inspire them. Just think about who we were when we started. Um, well, you were a two-bit broke pirate who couldn't even outrun a tree. Exactly! And you were a two-bit bounty hunter. Just as broke as me, just as depraved, self-centered, Mindlessly chasing every unit, bar, contract, bank to rob. I still like many of those things. So do I. But none of those things are why we're here now. Right? You're down here kicking ass for Drax. Not Drax the Destroyer, not Drax the Rampaging Criminal. Drax, man! Our friend. And Gamora. You've gone to the ends of the galaxy to hunt people, to hurt people. To get revenge in what... 
only assume are some excruciatingly painful ways. But doesn't this feel kind of good? Going this far to help someone you care about? Oh, it feels so good. And uh, Groot. Uh, he says you don't have to. No, no, I do. Because we all need to learn something from you, man. You never complain. Or if you do, I don't catch it. But I, I, I'm pretty sure you probably definitely don't. You're always there for us. And that's what this is about. Us. Growing together as a team, following a crazy lady into a death cave because one of us needs help. Because we are a team. Help, we're a family. We're the fucking guardians of the galaxy. Yay! Really great speech, Quill. Why didn't anyone stop me? You're on such a roll! It really was one of your better speeches. Not an AT 
Please just save Drax already. Warm? Very, very warm. I think she wants us to jump in the hole. I may not know what we're looking for, but I know it's down there. Okay, let's finish this, because I sure as flock didn't get all wet for nothing. Something sad and sulking, licking lingering wounds. <laughs> if it's here. She's totally gonna feed us to something awful down here. I know it. Should we expect a fight? Probably. You guys aren't very good at the whole de-escalation thing. Doesn't matter what's down here. If it can bring us back our grumpy Catathian, I'm all in. And the rest of you should be too. Come on, guys. We're the freaking guardians of the galaxy. We're here. Home of the healing light, source of the cure, origin of Raker's power. It's a cocoon? Told you she was gonna feed us to some giant bug. Or maybe she's the bug, and that's some kind of... 
Oh, gross! Please tell me Drax is the only one who's got to go in that creepy egg sack. So the shepherds found fresh flock. Followers. Think fast, beard butt. How the? You know not the gravity of your treacherous trespass. Not quell a god. <laughs> Prepare for oblivion, interloper. Oh, what's this one? Okay, Green Meanie, you're up. <sighs> Found you. Nasty uglies from that busted noggin of yours. It's okay, guys. It's him. Aaron Witchcraft. No. Wait. Aiden Warsock. Ashley Warsock. Adam Warlock? That's it! The Golden God guy! Hold on. This guy's Raker's old divine whatever? Looks pretty good for a dead guy. Were you not sent by the sanctimonious shepherd? Us? With Raker? Not a chance. We're trying to shut his ass down. See? Friends. Okay, big guy. In we go. Come on! All the ones where we die already happened. Ugh. Raker's got half the galaxy going cuckoo bananas, her friend included. I swapped your ass for a newer, younger, blue-skinned model. So, can you help us? Mantis seems to think you can cure Drax. My heavenly healing is veiled malignance, a first folly I swore never to repeat. Ugh, can someone translate this guy? He said no. What protection I can proffer is to remain reclusive. Not this time, Goldie. The pieces need to go back together. We just gotta get you all closer to the puzzle. And that would be... In here, of course. Whoa, wait, let, let's talk about... Th 